Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to the third video of uh, SQLite uh, tutorial series. So in the previous video we have uh, added some data inside our uh, database table. So as you can see there are two items here, title 1 and title 2 with uh, all other datas. So uh, in this video uh, I want to uh, add those uh, information inside the recycler view. So uh, here is our my database helper class which we created. So uh, here we have on create, on upgrade and uh, our latest uh, add book uh, method. And with this method we are adding the data inside our uh, database table. So this is our add activity. We here uh, just have uh, this uh, on click listener for our button. And uh, now inside this my database helper we are going to create a new method. Okay. And then uh, we are going to uh, set the data uh, in our recycler view which is inside our main activity okay so here uh, let's create a new method so uh, this method uh, will return a cursor object so let's uh, name this uh, read all data and now we're going to read all data from our database table so first uh, let's create a string query and this query will uh, represent a SQL, uh, SQL query so basically we're selecting all the data from our uh, database table uh, next we're going to create a SQLite database object and we're going to use a get readable database this time. Uh, next create a cursor object and set that to a null. So in if block we're going to check if our database is not null. So that means uh, we have some data inside our database table. And then uh, we're going to execute a row query. And we're going to pass two parameters. The first one is uh, our SQL query and the second one is null. Okay. Uh, so, uh, next what we're going to do, uh, we're going to return a cursor object and we're going to store this uh, raw query result inside our cursor. And then we're going to return that. Okay, so uh, basically our cursor will contain all the uh, data from our uh, database table uh, when we return that from our read all data method here. Okay, so uh, this method read all data will be called inside the main activity where we are going to uh, uh, use the recycler view as well. So let's first uh, initialize our my database helper class. Okay, and let's create uh, four different uh, array lists. So uh, those array lists uh, will contain strings. So the first one uh, book ID, book title, book author and book pages. So let's initialize this class and we're going to pass, uh, uh, let's uh, pass first this main activity and uh, then uh, we're going to initialize those uh, array lists as well. So do that for the rest of those arrays. Okay. And uh, next we can create a new method here inside our uh, main activity. Uh, display data will be called and let's use a cursor object. And uh, we're going to store uh, the result from our read all data inside our cursor object. So uh, here in if block we're checking if uh, our cursor get count is equal to zero. That means there is no data. We're going to di uh, display a simple toast message in that case. And in else block we're going to uh, use a cursor move to next uh, method. And here basically we're going to read uh, all the data from our cursor. So we're going to use a get string and we're going to pass uh, an integer here. So basically the zero means uh, we are going to read the first column, which is uh, book ID, the second uh, column with uh, number one, a uh, book title and so on. And uh, we're going to call this method inside our onCreate method. But uh, we're going to change the name so it can uh, make more sense. Store data in arrays. So basically we're grabbing the results from, from our read all data method and we're going to store that uh, result in our arrays. Uh, next, we're going to create a custom adapter for our recycler view. Okay, so this uh, custom adapter will uh, extend the recycler view class adapter. And we're going to pass here a custom adapter dot my view holder. So uh, my view holder is uh, an inner class, which we're going to create now. And we're going to implement uh, three different uh, methods for uh, our recycler view. All right, so uh, let's uh, make this our uh, make this uh, inner class extends uh, recycler view dot view holder. All right. And uh, next we're going to create a new layout. So this layout will be for our uh, recycler view row. 
so let's name this uh, layout my row okay and here we're going to add a card view and uh, inside card view we want to add a constraint layout so uh, layout height for our uh, card view should be wrap content and height for our constraint layout should be wrap content as well and of course linear layout height wrap content as well it is very important to set that so uh, let's add here a padding uh, to 12 dp okay so our row has a little space um, before we add this text view so this text view first will be named uh, book id text so let's add uh, just an example number of one uh, text size should be around maybe 30 sp or we can increase that a little bit more okay let's change the color uh, to black okay and let's increase the text size to 40 sp I, I think it's uh, it's better to do that and now we're going to add three more uh, text views so i'm going to constrain this second text view to our first text view and uh, let's add one more here just below that so uh, those two will be uh, book title and book author so let's uh, change the ids of those uh, text views okay this one book author text let's change the text to title one this is just an example we're going to change that uh, dynamically inside our recycler view uh, text size for this one should be 20 sp text style bold and i think we should add a text color here as well to black okay uh, now uh, uh, there is one more text view we should add and that is uh, for book pages okay so uh, let's change the idea of this uh, last text view and uh, text to 120 this is just an example text size to uh, 80 sp 18 sp okay and uh, this is how our row should look like it's just a simple layout but uh, this is just for for tutorial purposes you don't need uh, any more complex layout than this so in our custom adapter we want to create a constructor and uh, we want to add uh, some uh, properties here ab uh, above so let's create a context and four different array lists so uh, next uh, our uh, constructor should uh, have uh, as a parameters uh, uh, this context and four different uh, array lists because when we initialize this class inside our main activity we want to pass all the uh, array lists uh, which we already created here inside main activity and then we are going to uh, set those uh, values to our global uh, uh, variables here so we can access those objects in our whole class okay book id and uh, one more book pages okay so let's set those access modifiers to private okay let's arrange this a little bit uh, better okay it looks nice and uh, next uh, inside our on create uh, view holder we're going to inflate our uh, row layout for our recycler view so let's use inflate method and here we're going to pass our uh, layout and the second parameter will be view group uh, parent and the third parameter of false and next we're going to return a new my view holder and we're going to pass view so let's store this inflator inside our view object okay and uh, after that we're going to uh, get inside our uh, my view holder class here and we're going to create uh, four different text view objects okay and that one and uh, next inside this uh, constructor uh, we're going to uh, get the ID of those uh, text views so four different uh, text views and four different IDs okay and now inside on bind view holder uh, we're going to set the text so we're going to use a holder object and we're going to set the text so here we're going to get uh, the string from our array so here uh, we're going to use a get method and uh, pass a position integer so basically we are going to uh, get all the data from uh, our uh, arrays okay all right so uh, okay uh, there is one more method we should uh, uh, add here and that is get item count so we we can uh, just uh, use a size method of any our uh, array they are all the same 
Okay, so here in our main activity, we're going to create a custom adapter uh, object and we're going to initialize that. But uh, we're going to also use a set adapter. And here, as you can see, custom adapter should have uh, five different um, uh, parameters. And here, basically, uh, we're going to uh, use those uh, arrays. So it's very important to use, uh, to call this store uh, data in arrays method before this custom adapter. So we can grab the, uh, the data and store inside our arrays. And only then we can pass them into custom adapter and show inside our recycler view. So uh, now let's run our application and uh, check it out. Okay, as you can see, we can see our item here, but we can see only the second item and uh, don't worry, I know what uh, is this all about. So uh, we cannot see uh, actually the first item and uh, that's because uh, we need to add a margin from the top. So uh, go ahead on our main activity layout and on our recycler view, we are going to add uh, this uh, padding top with uh, attribute action bar size. So now our uh, the first item will move down. So let's run application again. And as you can see now, we can see all our items from our database table. So uh, there is one more thing I should add here and uh, that's um, margin. So let's add uh, margin bottom to, for example, 12 dp. So our rows can be a little bit separated. And I think uh, instead of uh, margin bottom, I think we should add the margin top so our first element could be separated from the uh, action bar as well so let's replace this with a margin top and now when we run an application we can see that our first item is also uh, separated a little bit so let's add one more item here in our uh, book library so click add and when we click back as you can see, there is uh, the third item here. So everything works perfectly fine. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, update your uh, database items as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.